All right, Coach. Uh, first of all, congratulations. Welcome back to the mountain. Uh, how excited are you right now? Uh, very. It's been uh, an unbelievable 24 hours, just something that, uh, you know, as a coach, you, you've always wanted to be in this position and to, and to be here at Liberty and to have this opportunity here. Um, I, I don't know what else to say. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. When you saw this position was available, were you interested immediately? Yeah, immediately. You know, I, I reached out, uh, or Coach uh, Jeff reached out to Coach Fox, and uh, we had a chance to communicate. And I've always thought uh, this place is extremely special in a lot of ways. And uh, I, was, I was interested and, and just glad the opportunity came up to come up here and interview. Heading into your first head coaching job, I mean, what, what expectations do you have? Is there any way to draw up expectations for you? Yeah, you want to change the culture and put it into a position where those guys, um, you know, those guys really understand what it means to be a, a championship type program, and that's that's the first step for me is to invest in the players, and the players are what what define the program, like I mentioned earlier, and we're going to dive into making sure those guys understand that and, and let them know this is their program. Uh, we're going to celebrate with them every day and have fun on the field. And when, oh, go ahead. You said it was tough leaving North Carolina. How much does that speak to how special this job is for you? No question. And, and there's, you know, Scott Forbes is my best friend, and uh, he's, he's a guy that, uh, you know, was, was the associate head coach there. So we had a lot of those conversations. Um, hey, what jobs would you leave North Carolina for to be a head coach? And so um, the list, as you can imagine, isn't very long. Uh, but for me, this was on there, and, and certainly one of those that uh, uh, I'm just thrilled to death to have the opportunity to be here. How much did that one year that you'd spent here before – help you make that decision that this would be a place because you had experienced the full season? Yeah, I wasn't here with the new stadium. So I was here with the old stadium. And again, I think that speaks to just my perspective of Liberty and the fact that, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's the people and the people that you get to be around every day. And, and to have a family here in a Christ-centered campus and be able to go right across the parking lot here and listen to Jonathan. And uh, my wife would, would get up. I'd get up on Sunday mornings to go recruit, and she'd, you know, she'd have Jonathan on the iPad down there. So I told her, you don't have to do that anymore. We can go over here and listen in person. So, yeah, just everything that is Liberty that encompasses um, the experience here is what brought me back. And, you know, yes, this, this facility is great, um, but it's about people, and that's what defines, you know, your program and the relationships that you have and where you're going to go is, is the type of people you have around you. You mentioned hiring assistant coaches. Uh, you kind of gave, a, I guess, the next few days kind of timeline. Is that what you're anticipating at this point? You have folks in mind? I do. Um, I've talked to two, two guys that I think uh, we're going to be able to have some success getting here. Um, like I said, both of them played and coached in Omaha, so uh, that's important to me. They come from championship programs, and uh, we'll know something here probably in the next couple of days. Is there a North Carolina series in the future? Uh, you know what? That's funny you said that because Stony Brook can't go to North Carolina this year for the third weekend. So I'm going to call Coach Fox and see if we can't get that right out of the gate. Yeah. <laughs> Recruiting obviously very key. Jumping in at this stage in the game, what does that look like for you trying to ramp things up quickly? Yeah, you want to be careful with that because I want to win with the kids that are in this program right now. So I'm not looking to recruit past them. I'm not looking to do anything um, you know, that's a, a knee-jerk reaction to making sure um, you have your players in the program. The, these are Liberty's players, and so I'm excited to be with them. We're going to go to war with those guys, and, and we're going to win with them this year. Um, and we're going to be patient and make sure that uh, you know, the needs of the program are met through recruiting, um, not just with bodies, but with the right people that want to be here and want to be part of this. Scott, you mentioned changing the culture. Uh, what about the culture needs changing? I mean, this team played for a conference championship. Yeah, absolutely. Great question. And I don't know that it needs a ton of change as much as it does just an opportunity to get in there and get with those guys and get on the field and let them know this is how we want to do it. Um, you know, anytime you have a new head coach and a new staff, um, you're going to have some philosophical changes. I worked for Jim Toman. Um, he, he, he was a great guy, and I think he did a great job, and I want to build on that. And I think um, changing is probably not the right word. It's probably more about building on it and putting ourselves in a position to hopefully go further in the postseason.